J. Cole's production is so impactful, it enables him to do this. J. Cole has done it again. Cole predicted the future. A motherfucking clock! But what are the things which actually make J. Cole's production so impactful? There are three building blocks I found producers like T Minus or Timbaland use in a unique way to make the production of this album feel so impactful. The first building block creates the foundation and gives the feeling to the record. It's sampling. And on the off season, there are six songs which sample old records. But while doing that, the producers encountered some problems, and that's why they had to use those two techniques to fix them. The first problem was on Hunger and Hillside. Let's see if you can hear what it is. The sample kind of sounds off, right? Yeah, that's because we only have three bars available. And then the fourth bar, there was some weird going on, which they couldn't use. And to fix this problem, producers like Boy Wonder, Dirtwork and Don Mills chopped up the sample like this. And now it's perfectly on the grid. There are also songs like Applying Pressure, where they chopped the sample like this. Or 100 mil where T-minus chopped it in a really cool way where you have this busy intro and this calmer drum part. However, the second problem which they encountered on songs like Close was pretty hidden and I didn't even notice it the first time when I listened to the sample. Because listen yourself, where can there be a problem in this beautiful song? But that was exactly the problem. It sounded too full and clean for the grimy rapping which J. Cole wanted to lay on top. But there's a cool trick which J. Cole used, which is sort of the opposite of Kanye West's chipmunk sampling. He still pitches up the sample, but unlike Kanye, he slows it down and it gives the sample a really warped and grainy and dirty feeling. And Close was not the only song which used this technique. The Climbback or 100mm also utilized it to give the drums and J. Cole more space. However, sampling just builds the foundation and the next block might be the most important one. Because if you want to be impactful, your production needs a certain pop-up hill. Who are you going to impact if only three people know you? <laughs> and that's why the drums on the off-season have a more modern approach. But there are two ways they do that. 95 South, 100mm, The Climbback, Amir, Am Am Amar Amari, Pride is the Devil, Interlude. All of those songs use these trap drum patterns. Trap drums is the shit that's hot now. But with a slight twist, which you can see perfectly on the song 95 South. The pattern of the drums feels very modern. It could be on a Travis or Drake song. But the sound selection feels just slightly older and more coldish. <laughs> a similar thing you can also see on Pride is Devil, where the drum pattern works perfectly with Lil Baby. But the sound selection, again, feels like coal. But if Cole would use trap drums on all of those songs, his older credibility might start declining, which could then lead to him having less of an impact. That's why the other half of the album with songs like Hunger on Hillside, Close, Applying Pressure or Let My Hands Go use a modern boom bap approach. And the song Punching in the Clock probably has my favorite drums off of those. It is a one bar loop, but it has such a cool rhythm and feeling. How did they do that? Two things, velocity and time change. Look at the kicks right here. The first kick is slightly offset and slightly less in velocity. And all of the hi-hats are just slightly off shifted to the right. And now you have a timeless soulful feeling with the samples and a modern groove for a rapper to latch onto. But this alone is not the reason why people had reactions like this. The super producers like the miners know that it's all about structuring and giving the artist space. That's why a lot of the beats like Applying Pressure, Close, Hunger on Hillside have a structure like this. Which is extremely simple and open, but it gives J. Cole the space that he needs to tell his beautiful stories. And in my opinion, best production for creating space on the album is on Pride is the Devil. That's why people had such a great reaction when the baby came in. Because they knew something was about to build up. Look at the end of the Cole Wars right before the baby comes in.
this sort of stuttering builds energy and anticipation for what's next. And then the beat is completely gone and only Lil Baby carries the whole energy. And that's why people have such a high reaction to the song. And if you want an even deeper look into the production, I put all of the FLPs, drums, stems, midis on Patreon, along with some other really quality producer content for only five bucks. And this video shows you why Kendrick Lamar tweeted that. Thank you for watching.